Hi guys, uh, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I am a consultant cardiologist uh, and today I thought I'd do a little video on mild mitral regurgitation. Okay, I'm currently in a place called Spitalfields in London. Um, so it's a bit noisy but I thought I'd... Um, uh, I had a few minutes to spare so I thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, now, a lot of people come to me um, because they've had heart scans and their GP or their doctor said to them, oh, you have this thing called mild mitral regurgitation. And they say, well, what's that? And it means that your mitral valve uh, is leaky, mildly leaky, okay? Um, and that causes a lot of concern amongst people because they say, well, what does that mean? You know, why is it leaky? And could it get worse? If it's mild now, could it get worse? Um, so I thought I'd do a quick little video on this subject. The first thing to say is the mitral valve is a valve which connects the top chamber, the atria, to the ventricle. Um, and it's a saddle-shaped structure, so it looks like a saddle when you look at it. Now, as we grow, what tends to happen is our chests tend to flatten. And although we're born with these really nice mitral valves, as we grow, because our chests flatten, the geometry gets altered slightly. And this results in a little bit of a leak. And it is not uncommon to see a little bit of mitral regurgitation in 70% of the normal population. So if I take 100 people off the street who have never had a problem with their heart, I do a scan in them, about 70 of them will have some mitral regurgitation. This is a normal finding. It does not mean that there's a major problem going on with the heart. Of course, you, you wonder, though, some people would wonder and say, well, do you think it could get worse? You know, I've got this, but how do I know it'll get worse? And the answer is there are certain things that'll help you predict whether it'll get worse or not. Okay. The first thing is the leaflets, the mitral valve leaflets. Now, if the mitral valve leaflets are completely normal, structurally, they're not thickened, they don't show any signs of wear and tear or aging, then it's highly unlikely that they're going to progress into causing more mitral regurgitation. The second thing to say is that it is worth um, looking at the cords which uh, are attached, so the mitral valve is attached by a series of cords to the ventricle. So if the cords are normal, that's another really good sign. And the third thing is, you may have a normal valve, but if your ventricle is abnormal, if your ventricle is unusually big, then although the, the valve may be fine, if, you, if the ventricle opens up, then the, the gap opens up and you can get some leak. So the third question is, is your ventricle normal or not? And if your ventricle is normal, then that's another very good sign. So if you get told you have mild mitral regurgitation, uh, there's a few things to ask your doctor. The first is, is it physiological, I, is it something that, you know, you expect to see in everyone? And most doctors would be able to say, yes, it's physiological, it doesn't mean that there is anything going on. And then in that case, you just forget about the mitral regurgitation. It's a normal finding for you. The second thing to say is, do you think that the valves look normal or abnormal, the valve leaflets? And if the valve leaflets look normal, again, a very, very good sign. You don't need to worry about your mitral regurgitation. And the third question to ask is, is my ventricle normal or not? If your ventricle is normal, if you match all, if you have all three, I, your leaflets are normal, the structures that attach the leaflet to the ventricle is normal, and the ventricle is normal, and your GP says it's physiological, i.e. it's no more than mild, uh, then nothing else needs to be done. You don't need any further scans, and you can be completely reassured that there's nothing bad waiting to happen in the future. If you have any of those abnormalities, if your leaflets are abnormal, if your ventricle is abnormal, then it is worth keeping an eye on the, um, on the mitral valve to make sure it doesn't get worse with time. Okay, so how, what are the indicators that it's getting worse? Well, one of the indicators is the, the amount of leakage will go up. Secondly, um, another indicator can be if the left ventricle is getting bigger, and third indicator is if you start developing symptoms of breathlessness or exercise intolerance. So, and that is usually quite dramatic. It's not, you know, I can walk a mile yesterday, I can walk a, just about a mile today. It'll be like, I can walk a mile a month ago, now I'm struggling after half a mile. 
that kind of deterioration is what is suggestive that the mitral regurgitation is getting worse. Generally, the mitral regurgitation will only really tend to cause symptoms when it is severe, moderate to severe. Okay? It doesn't tend to cause symptoms when it's mild. So in general, most mild mitral regurgitation is physiological. It's nothing to be too worried about. But do ask your doctor to make sure that your leaflets are fine and your ventricle is fine. So from Spitalfields, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. Um, if you get a chance, please do come and visit my website, which is www.yorkcardiology.co.uk. And uh, my Facebook page uh, is Sanjay Gupta. But you can type in yorkcardiology at gmail.com and you'll be able to get through to it. So thank you very much for listening. I was really keen just to do a video from Spitalfields. So all the best. Take care.